Grand Rising family, welcome to your Thursday the 9th uh, daily message. Uh, before we start, family, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to everyone. Yesterday's reading, I read all of the messages, uh, beautiful, heartfelt messages. Uh, being vulnerable and authentic takes courage, as you all know. A lot of people don't feel brave enough to share with anyone the things within themselves they feel shame and pain about or around especially publicly or on a public platform. So I want to thank everyone for holding space and for the beautiful heartfelt messages in yesterday's daily. God bless you all family so much. I felt it in my heart, the love, compassion, and light you all sent my way, as well as towards everyone um, also working towards becoming whole and healing self-love in every way. Thank you for holding space for accepting and unconditionally loving me for you know um being the light that you all are sometimes i feel a little frustrated at how long it's taking you know to um because i've been healing the sacral i did i spent a month doing the womb healing you know and then i, I do feel though that um even though sometimes i feel frustrated at how long it's taking to heal this specific deep childhood wound you know, uh, spirit reminds me, you know, often to give myself grace and to be gentle with myself. So it's a message for you guys as well. If you guys have been working on healing, self-esteem, worthiness, self-confidence, self-love, try to trust the process, the, especially if the wound is really deep, if it goes back to childhood. Um, and sometimes people will come into your life and it will, they will re-trigger that wound so you can take a look at that, you know. If anyone, if anyone grew up with people not saying nice things about like your image and how you look and if, you know, ever you were made fun of or called names by anyone growing up, um, that wound isn't the easiest to heal. But I do feel that, um, there is a shift in, in, in energy and frequency, especially in mind, because of the rewiring I've been doing. I'm listening to, I'm going hard, right? Listening to the self-love, the unconditional love, self-acceptance, confidence, uh, worthiness, you know, all of the affirmations that I posted, the self-acceptance, all the affirmations that I post in the community board for you guys. And um, I've been doing the affirmations, you know, and um, it's changing my conditioning, my programming, the subconscious wound around all the insecurities when it comes to that, the self-love and the unconditional love when it comes to the physical aspect. Um, but it's at the forefront and, um, and, and, and uh, now of the work, you know, that I'm doing. But it's like sometimes the divine just sends you, you know, situations or circumstances or even people to re-trigger this the, the wound so you can focus on it right so this is the blockage this is what's holding us back this is what's slowing us down this is what's keeping us stuck you know but i do have a download okay that i got when i was doing crown chakra today's the last day on crown chakra i already did root to ground but if you pray to archangel michael he will protect you okay he will reveal to you he will reveal who people really are so he will remove their mask early on, which is why you can't feel safe and trust. Once you truly trust your angels, it'll all work out. It'll be all good. You have nothing to fear when you um, call in Archangel Michael. Just know that you can just go with the flow and the ones that are not meant to be in your energy or in your life anymore, they will be revealed to you. Okay, and it, you probably you wouldn't be left with any other option than to walk away from them because it won't resonate at all, you know. Um, so, all right, um, I'm going to start today with the Heal Yourself deck. I want to see what Spirit wants us to focus on or to be aware of when it comes to what we're healing within ourselves. Okay, what's coming up for us? Thursday the 9th, that's my son's birthday. Happy birthday to my son, my Scorpio King. Um, he's 19 today, and uh, it's exciting. <laughs> my baby bear is uh, that's my youngest son. They grow up so fast. So happy birthday to my baby bear. Um, all right, family, I'm going to say my prayer, and we're going to get started.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guides. May this message reach everyone that needs it, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. Okay, spirit, I'm going to split the deck here. What is it uh, for this heal, heal yourself, for everyone here that is focused on this on their own healing journey, doing the work? What is it that we need to be aware of? Thursday the 9th. What is it that we need to be aware of? Split the deck. We have wild. This is us going, you know, allowing our, our, our free spirited nature, our sensual nature, our wild side to, to explore, right? To go on an adventure here, okay? To allow for the succulent, <laughs> wild nature of us. I got a hole in the soul um, to really allow us to wear, put on the red lipstick, the red pumps the red dress and go paint the town red <laughs> that's the message okay spirit ah look at that beauty beauty how we see ourselves right that has been the that has been the tone that has been the message okay and from what i read and the messages you guys wrote um as I figured, as I thought, which is why I was guided to share that with you guys from Spirit, is that, you know, we're not alone on this journey towards becoming whole, right? Uh, what is it that we're needing to be aware of collectively? Thursday the 9th, Spirit, what's the message for Thursday the 9th? Time is an illusion. Please take only what's yours and give the rest, leave the rest for others. We have take off your mat. And there's wild again. I'm definitely going to read that. <laughs> Wild is here. Wild is back. We have pride and soulmate and patience. Mm. Patience, soulmate. There is an invisible, ghostly, spirited figure here. That's someone that's with you in spirit. Okay. This is somebody here that is with you in the 5D. As you can see, already manifest. The, the soulmate is already manifested. There could be, you know, some delays and some blockages to this coming in because of pride that could be getting in the way. And us really, you know, putting ourselves out there here. All right. So I'm going to read. Uh, this is number 11 for take off your mask. Oh, I opened right to the page. Family can make this stuff up. <laughs> I love it when that happens. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um. So we have, and remember that was the message also in yesterday's reading about be the real you. That was at the bottom of the deck, right? So we have, stop trying to appear different than who you really are. It's time to take off your mask and be the real you. Wow, family. You cannot get the love and attention you are craving by pretending to be someone you are not. Why are you so frightened to be honest with yourself and others? Do you feel that you will lose friends and opportunities by showing by showing others your imperfections, fears, and vulnerabilities? Wow, we were just talking about how, how beautiful it is when you do allow yourself to show up the way that you feel vulnerable, right? How 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 much that you know someone that does that, especially to your love, being honest about your insecurities um, to your loved ones, you know, and what the, the things that you fear and things like that, the things that you feel shame around or you feel embarrassed by or the, the rejected parts of you, you know, uh, your, all of the fears, right, and all the vulnerabilities, how beautiful are you for sharing that? How brave are you? How courageous are you for opening yourself up and really revealing the truth? This is the time to be authentic, um, are you constantly doing things to please others, even if doing this does not work for you? This codependency, right? Uh, this card indicates that you need time to get to know yourself and what is important in your life. So this is that uh, individuality, that autonomy, that, uh, you know, uh, finding yourself, rediscovering lost parts of yourself, you know, um, the releasing of the old identity that was given to you by conditioning and programming and coming into your own. You will know that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. Wow, right before this reading, I was doing a um, an affirmation and uh, one of the affirmations, one of the, the affirmations was something about um, I'm not afraid of others' judgments. Uh, it's, it's one of those that I posted in the community board for you guys. I think it's the... Actually, let me look. 
I was what it's the one what it's called because I, I was just doing it right before this reading. It's still saved on my phone here. It's the gain supreme confidence. I I posted that one for you guys on the community board, and she was saying that's what she was saying. Uh, and one of the affirmations is that you release the fear of judgment from others, right? Um, you will know that you are evolving when other people's judgments of you no longer impact you. No, words no longer hurt you. Their opinions of you no longer affect you, right? Uh, and no, no longer matters. If you have an incredible talent, believe in yourself. Don't hide your greatness because others feel envious or resentful. Ooh! So it is time to shine your light. Step into the spotlight, family, okay? Remember, every great leader had people who loved them and believed in them, as well as those who doubted and disliked them, okay? So yeah, you're going to have haters. You're going to have people that are not going to, that your light is going to trigger their wounds, their insecurities. You're going to have people that are going to project their own insecurities onto you, you know? Um, that you're being, that's what you're needing to work on, on the ninth, uh, on the, the ninth, this is what you, is bringing to your attention, your awareness. That's what I asked is for you to challenge yourself, uh, to be your true authentic self. You can start small, start with yourself, right? The word the you know, being honest with how you really see yourself, how you really feel about yourself. And then maybe you can share it with somebody that you love, somebody in your family. You know, you talk to spirit, talk to the angels and um, and start little by little, you know, uh, showing up in your vulnerable self, in your authentic self as who you really are, how you really feel. You'll be surprised how beautiful people would really you'll be a magnet. You know, um, people really feel inspired by you to also remove their mask and also show up that way in their life, right? Uh, be the change that you want to see, okay? And um, and those that are going to be judgmental to you revealing yourself, um, they're not your people, they're not your tribe, they're not your soulmates, they're not, you know, uh, meant to be with you on your path of evolution. You're triggering them, that's what you're doing. You're trigger. That's what they wish they could do. They There's a lot of people that are not very... So, okay, the, the people that are... Their opinions really shouldn't matter, those that are not very aware of themselves. And they will show you that they are not aware of themselves with the projections, right? Those are the people that are ego-driven, um... And, um, and and reactive, impulsive, reactive, um, that don't have a lot of control over their emotions, okay? Uh, those are the ones that are not very conscious and aware of their inner child woundings. They're not, you know, they're not aware, so they're not on the healing journey, right? They haven't even started. So it's like it doesn't really matter what people that are not conscious and aware of themselves even thinks anyways, right? So it's like consider the source, okay? They don't even know who they are. <laughs> they, they don't even know who they are. So who are they to tell you about you kind of thing, you know? So um, like somebody said in one of the comments in one of the readings, the recent readings, um, you know, the ones that actually project their insecurities onto you by saying something, making any kind of like comments about your, about you to you. Um, they're the ones that are the ugly ones anyways. Right. So that's what somebody said in the comments. And that makes a lot of sense. That's, there's a lot of truth to that. All right. So let's read this wild card. Wild. I love this. We have this. It's not the first time that this pride card showed up. It showed up earlier as well yesterday in another reading that I did. I'm kind of wondering whether or not I should read it. We have um, there is a wild, untamed spirit inside of you, desperate to be unleashed. Free it and claim the gifts of energy, power, passion, and creativity that it offers you. Ooh. Through suppressing your wild side. So when you reveal your mask, this is what's hidden underneath. This beautiful wild nature. Through suppressing your wild, succulent, outrageous, and untamed self. You dull your senses and crush your creativity. You shrink. Lose your energy and become depressed. Your relationships suffer and your rage grows. You become ashamed, hostile, cold, boring, over-serious, and scared. You stop taking chances and live in mediocrity. 
constantly trying to protect yourself, right? That's what, why we wear a mask to protect ourselves. The truth, that's the ego, right? And pride as well. The truth is that no one can judge you, punish you, or hurt you as much as you can. Give in to your wildness and stop living a sham. This part, stop living a sham. This part of you is sensual, provocative, truthful, courageous, and bold, passionate, and alive. Set, set it free. Set her free. Set him free. So I'm actually going to read the pride because I'm guided to, family. That, the, the, as you can see, the messages are not very long. Uh, we have here pride. We have, uh, you may be acting out of arrogance and vanity. Humility is the key. So this right here could be um, somebody in your energy or you or mirroring energy, okay? Uh, but I'm guided to read this. It could be a soulmate of yours that's in this energy, right? That's what's, you know, keeping people from love is pride and ego. Uh, when you are prideful, you can become harsh and not conscious of your weaknesses, this can temporarily make you feel more powerful and superior to others. Okay, this is what we're talking about. The, 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 the folks that I was just talking about that are not aware, right, of their shadow. They haven't done shadow work. Pride is a shadow. Um, while at the same time cause you to be judgmental, unteachable, and hardened. Have you been fighting, quarreling, or disagreeing with others? Are you always trying to prove a point and defend your position? Do you think that you are always right? By holding on to shadow pride, you are stopping yourself from progressing mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Okay, so you've ever been around that person that all wants to have the last word? They're a drama person. They, they want to, you know, pick an argument over everything. And when you're like not responding and you're removing yourself from the conversation, they find other avenues to reach out to you after you block them on everything. They'll figure out a way to reach out to you to continue on the quarreling, the, the battling, the, the, the fighting, the I, I'm because I'm going to tell you off and I'm going to have the last word. That's these people here. Okay. Uh, and meanwhile, you're already removed yourself from the conversation in the five different other platforms that you block this person at. <laughs> you block them everywhere. It's like, I'm, I'm not going to respond to you or I'm, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to quarrel with you. I'm not going to uh, invest any energy into this, right? And yet, they're still hunting you down because they want to give you a piece of their mind. Have you ever been, a, been a, around, known somebody like that? <laughs> like chasing you so that they can fight with you. Meanwhile, you're like running away in another direction, blocking them on everything. And they're still trying to contact you to fight. That's weird, right? Like, that is weird, that is weird energy, that's dangerous energy. It's like, calm, like you're unhinged, like, calm down. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk to you. Nobody wants to hear what you have to say. Write it down, burn it. Get it out of you in one way or another, but not, don't, don't project that shit, right? So, that's this energy here, family. Uh, by holding on to shadow pride, you're stopping yourself from progressing mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Stop overestimating your importance. Oh, my God. And learn to be humble. <laughs> when you are too proud, you cannot hear other people's advice and cannot receive their assistance. Yeah, there is no listening. There is no awareness. There is none of that. It's like it's a, real, a huge sense of entitlement. It's their way. This pride energy is their way and their way only. Right? There is no scene that they could potentially be the issue. Empowerment means that you can be soft, caring, aware, and gentle. Recognize that's empowerment. Empowerment means none of that, right? It means being soft, compassionate, caring, aware, loving, kind, and gentle. Choosing to respond from your higher self from a place of love, of unconditional love. What will love do? How can I bring love into the situation? How could I see love in this situation, right? Recognize that you need other people's support to achieve true success. Wow, powerful message. This may not be you, family, okay? Well, we've been on this healing journey for a long time. We're very aware of our shadows. I'm thinking that this is probably the people you dealt with or the people in, you know, uh, could, could be what was, you know, caused the, the rift, the separation from you and family members, ex-friends, or... Employers, coworkers, you've definitely dealt with people like this in your life, okay? Um, every I feel like a lot of us have. <laughs> and um, 
the, the people that you have romantic connections with as well. Some people are just are not open to listening, so there's no point in putting any energy into trying to, you know, get them to see another perspective. They're so closed off and unaware, right? So, all right, uh, let's get started with the with the tarot, with the tarot. <laughs> we have here the magician. Beautiful. Beautiful, lean, me manifesting machines. What else for Thursday the 9th? Creating a lot of alchemy and magic. Be careful with your words. The power of conjuring, right? I think that that is still here. With Goddess Isis. Truth unveiled. Or not. Lady of the Stars. The power of the seven scorpions. Yeah. You're being initiated into the magic of conjuring. So ask to have, because you know, the magician card is Mercury, Gemini and Virgo. Mercury rules communication. That's a manifesting card. So that's why I always come to this when I, when I see that energy. You are being initiated into the magic of conjuring. So, so as to have power to affect lower vibrational forces through your own will and spoken word. You were guided to use this powerful gift with compassion and discernment. With mercy and non-judgment. You can then manage any toxicity in your life swiftly and with great effect. Wow. I may I may pull. I may pull from, from Goddess Isis. Alright, there's a major turning point, a major change that's taking place right now. Okay, so right now it's really important that you just go with the flow. Release your fears. Okay. Um, this may not be you, this may be somebody in your energy. But let me just get the message out. Let me get the message out for Thursday the 9th. Thursday the 9th for a beautiful collective. <gasps> Sorry about that. That's been happening throughout the day. I don't know why. I have to probably call somebody to fix my alarm, my fire alarm. It's been going off throughout the day. On and off like that. Just one ring or two rings. And uh, I'm hoping that it's not going to do that in the middle of the night when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> That's not going to be cool <laughs> at all. <laughs> all right. All right. Back to this. That scared me <laughs> a little bit. So I apologize for that little interruption. I turned the fan on so maybe it's warm or something. It's always something. All right, Spirit. What else is the message here for Thursday the 9th, please? The star. Aquarius energy. So brighter days are ahead. Uh, we have a, a huge awakening taking place with the, with the Aquarius here. We're in the age of Aquarius, the age of light. Especially with the judgment. So there's a lot, a lot of emotional breakthrough and healing here when it comes to forgiveness. Okay. Um, there's a wish coming in. That has been the message lately, right? Uh, so with, uh, because we haven't lost hope, we haven't lost faith. We have, um, a, a energy here of if, you know, we're doing the, the self, the self healing work here, the evaluation, right? The self evaluation and a lot of forgiveness and, with the forgiveness comes emotional freedom. So hope is being restored, right? There is a strong connection here to your to your higher self. Um, a path is opening up, destined path um, for you, okay? You're becoming more in alignment with your North Star, your North Node. Um, this is also a very cosmic energy. Like you're very much uh, connected to spirit and the angels. Ground your energy. Very much connected to the divine here with uh, Aquarius and Scorpio energy, okay? So there is a rising, there is a rebirth, a coming out of the cocoon, coming out of, um, I also got emotional breakthrough as well, okay, with forgiveness, okay? There is a return to you, a huge birthing or a rebirthing energy here. I feel like uh, uh, there's also a renewal, 
a purification that's taking place right now with these two renewal and a purification like a reset i feel like your vibration is rising you have a lot of help yeah with the queen of wands your vibration yeah you get it you're getting justice from this kind of energy here your vibration is rising this is this energy of confidence self-esteem self-worth passion creativity leadership influencer right uh, uh to somebody that inspires people but again this energy can also you know wear a mask really well there's a lot of it th th this this one of the shadow the sh and that's what's coming to light one of the shadows of this queen of wands is insecurity okay and this is the wild succulent nature here that's under that you're that you're rising that's being uh transformed or awakened or unlocked within you and aquarius is uh energy here of detachment as well so it's like um the aquarius the aquarius when you think about an aquarius archetype the you know you think about and that's actually interesting because in this in this card she's nude. I have it covered up because of uh, YouTube's um, restrictions. But th talk about showing the world the real you in your pure authenticity, right? One of the cards in the Monology deck, one of the Aquarius cards in the Monology deck, is show the world the real you. So very strong message of taking the mask off and really showing up as your in your truth standing up for what you believe in standing up for yourself stepping into your true authenticity here okay this 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 energy this queen i feel like there is a freedom and a release if this is you from pride and ego and um superficiality even the vanity right uh aries leo sagittarius um there is a release from that there is a whole purification your vibration is rising that's taking place from you know all of the things that you feel you need external to you to feel good about yourself okay meanwhile under underneath the surface the reason why we're doing all of that is because of we're trying to hide an insecurity. All right. Or you're just trying to do all the things to help with the confidence, right? To help to feel better about yourself. Tell me more for Thursday the 9th. There's such a strong reason why the divine uh, had me... Uh, look the tower here have me uh, sh uh, talk to you guys and and share with you guys you know um the 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 message about worthiness and self-love and self-esteem you know there's a strong reason for that because i feel like we can't really attract in people that fully accept us and conditionally loves us and authentic relationships before not showing up that way fully right what else for thursday the ninth we have the higher font another major arcana taurus here another oh my god i'm so sorry i don't know what's going on see it keeps doing that it keeps doing that and turning off we have another hopefully and my dog is scared um it, I'm probably going to have to call somebody tonight to come take a look at it. But I um, apologize for that. Um, we have Taurus energy, another fixed sign here. And then we have Gemini energy at the bottom of the deck. And I have one more. Hopefully it will not go off again, family, while I'm doing this reading. If I apologize to you guys if that happens again. What else? Here, give me one more for Thursday the 9th. Wow, another major arcana. All majors at the bottom of the deck. The lovers again. Sagittarius energy, Gemini energy, Taurus and Aquarius. Holy Moses. 
So heavy on, um, heavy on the higher self or the spirituality, okay? Heavy on belief systems shifting. Yeah, definitely heavy on the uh, becoming whole. Balancing out the masculine and the feminine energy, becoming one, okay? Um, soulmate energy, soulmate energy here. I, I am getting the rewiring. The, the integration process, the healing from within, the belief system, expanding your consciousness, okay? You're very devoted to this, to, to becoming whole. You're very devoted to this balance, this inner harmony, this inner peace, okay? This is also Archangel Michael, the angel of alchemy. You're alchemizing energy. You're transmuting energy. That's why the star is the first card out. A lot, a lot of spiritual work, spiritual practice, divination even, okay? Um, a lot of faith. We have, a lot, and a lot of patience with the process as you reconfigure, regenerate your cells and upgrade your DNA, okay? A lot of patience and a lot of faith as you, you know, you're going through an ascension, your vibration is rising. Thank you, Archangel Michael. Yeah, I'm going to use Archangel Michael's deck. Wow. So there is uh, so much so much faith here, family. So much faith. You guys are so connected right now to spirit and the divine. You're getting a lot of messages. Connecting to your higher self. Becoming more... This is inner work. And that's what's actually bringing a lot of work. Wow! <laughs> the Emperor. Yeah, a lot of inner work, a lot of self-care, a lot of nurturing, a lot of self-love work, a lot of inner work, okay? There is something also that you are creating, that you're putting, that you're sharing with the, with the world and the universe and your community, your friends, your family. There is something that you're mastering. You're becoming a master. Whatever it is that you're doing, you're very good at it. You're professional at it. It's growing. Another energy of patience. This is slow growth. Remember I said in the beginning of the reading how sometimes it can be frustrating how long it's taking for this uh, for this healing of this uh, self-love. This this right here is sacral chakra, the sacral chakra healing, right? This right here is Venus, which is beauty, pleasure, abundance, fertility, unconditional love, nurturing, right? Patience, patience understanding and compassion so what so this growth process this blossoming this blooming the spiritual journey the spiritual awakening you have been on has been uh, you know you're now starting to feel and see a difference here when it comes to that and, it, and this 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 divine counterpart this divine love this sacred love um was a catalyst to this change to this Beautiful healing work that you've been doing. So much patience, so much healing, harmony, peace. This is soulmate energy. You do have a spiritual contract here for major arcana. So you're going through this week, feels like. Going through some major internal changes. Something is activating here within you. Light codes, I heard. Light codes, something is activating. You're becoming one and whole within yourself because we're taking the mask off and allowing our succulent, sensuous, <laughs> we saw the Empress, sensuous nature to bloom and blossom and flourish and showing up that way, right? So uh, the angel of alchemy, patience and peace, harmony and balance is here. So, ooh, I love this energy. Actually, I'm feeling guided to pull from I want to see what this is what is this activation that's taking place right now with these beautiful energies here I want to see what is this activation that I'm seeing here spirit with the star the higher font the temperance and the lovers what is this activation for Thursday the 9th for the beautiful collective what's this activation here that's taking place right now for the collective that we're seeing here what is it? Solar light upgrade. Solar 
solar plexus chakra, inner fire and willpower. Yeah, this was the dark night of the soul. Secrets revealed, treasures uncovered, and initiations. So you've been going through a major initiation here. Um, third chakra, this is exactly what we've been talking about this for the past couple days. This, the solar plexus is your inner peace, inner peace, family, your personal power, self-confidence, becoming whole here, self-worth, self-acceptance, and trusting and accepting our gut feeling. That's the solar plexus. That's what's being activated, your confidence. Your drive, your motivation, you believing in yourself. I'm going to read the message. After you guys spend some time here, you know, going within in the halls of Amenti, you are being initiated here. You're being initiated with all of these spiritual cards. Holy Moses, how beautiful. Solar light upgrade 133. I want to read this because this is, uh, that's this wild, that's us feeling comfortable and safe to be vulnerable, show up as ourselves. All of that solar plexus. Solar light upgrade. The solar plexus is found just above the belly button in the pit of the stomach. It's the energetic gateway that governs our gut, our instincts, and on an energetic level, our willpower and drive. This space can be described as a glowing sun. It is a space of warmth that gives us necessary focus and energy to fulfill our purpose and realize our dream. Didn't I say we're aligned with your purpose here, your North Star, right, your destined path? When the solar light gateway opens, our solar plexus becomes an infinite well of light in the pit of our being. This is a source of daily inspiration and ancient wisdom. When we feel our willpower increasing, we are remembering that we have prepared for many incarnations for the opportunities that we have today. Your message. The light of the great central sun is shining on you. Solar light upgrade. Yeah, the light of the great central sun is shining on you, activating you to push onward and create. We saw the empress to push onward and create. Push onward towards the sun. We have two of cups here to push onwards and create. This is a perfect time to move forward with any projects, any projects, any goals, okay? Um, and intentions. Align, with, align your energy with whatever you are ready to create and experience. Focus on what you are ready, what you are ready to grow and where you are ready to expand. The Hierophant is a card of devotion and commitment. Staying committed to your path, to your journey. That's what I'm seeing. Staying committed to this journey, the lover's journey here, right? As you focus on your goals, you're giving them energetic encouragement to flourish and open like a warm summer sun kissing the ground, encouraging the flowers to grow and bloom. That sunlight has, that sunlight has arrived. It is here in you now. So this is what's being activated right now. Uh, align with this energy, high, uh, temperance. You can do a solar plexus guided affirmation or, or by neuro, you can listen to the binaural beats or you can listen to Brian Scott or meditative mind solar plexus meditations. You can chant. It's RAM. R-A-M is the, is the, uh, mantra for the solar plexus. Okay. So let me get an energy here on, um, so it's your patience that's aligning you with this, uh, lover's energy here is this alignment you aligning with the vibration of love as well and abundance okay you not losing faith not losing hope here actually uh before we do we have ten of pentacles there which is you're aligning with abundance you're aligning with the your your patience is helping you to get to this culmination of financial security retirement that's what this is okay uh, that's uh uh, you know, the key to the vault to the bank of heaven on heaven's payroll. That is long-term security and stability with a life partner. If marriage is something that you want to manifest for yourself, it's right here. It's, it's, if this is your wish, that's your wish. Halls of a mentee. Uh, spirit just told me right when I was shuffling, spirit said to read just the message of this, uh, dark night energy 76.
So this is, I feel this is where you're coming out of. Uh, you are in a deep initiary chamber at this time. You might feel that things are heavy and challenging, but know that a reconfiguration, that's what I just said. <laughs> a reconfiguration is happening. Energetically, you are going through an initiation that will allow you to go beyond the fears of the ego, taking the mask off, we saw that pride card, and transcend the limitations of the physical realm. Right here. This is connection to spirit all day, okay? The major arcanas is major life changes, major events that's taking place, that's destined and faded, the star take place right now in your life. The reconfiguration that I see here that's taking place is internal, okay? You might feel, you, you may not feel that light is present. We got the solar plexus light is about to be, because you're in the middle of this phase at the moment, but know that it is present within you. You might be feeling frustrated. I think I used that word in the beginning of the reading, or overwhelmed. But a lot of this anxiety is actually old energy that was stored in the depth of your body being released so that your vibration can rise. Didn't I say your vibration is rising? Vibration is rising, and when your vibration rises, family, it does. It feels uncomfortable. Okay, uh, all of the things that needs to be removed, that uh, creating the energetic from your from your chakras, from you know, from your cells, from your body, the traumas, the past traumas, the 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 dead energy that no longer serves us, that's holding us back because we're doing the work. We're praying. We're practicing our spiritual practices. We're chanting. We're meditating. We're journaling. We're exercising, we're doing yoga, we're doing all, we're making healthier choices, we're changing our diet, we're doing all of this, the, the healing work here, right? The meditations, the affirmations, and because of that, the work is working, the, refigure, the reconfiguration is taking place. The regeneration of the cells, the upgrade of the DNA, so all of the things that we are healing and clearing from our body, our energy is coming up to the surface to be released right now. And it can feel heavy, it can, you can feel vulnerable, can feel um, a heaviness, a sluggishness, okay, a sadness, a depression even, uh, a frustrated, overwhelmed energy, not knowing really what's going on, you know, if, especially if you're not used to, if you're an air sign or any of the signs that are not water signs, right, and, uh, and have all of this, this stuff come up from the memories from the past, Painful memories from the past. All the things that are coming up, they're coming up because they're being released from you. So soon enough after it's released, you're going to feel lighter. But you also would have unlocked another ability, unlocked your gifts. You're going to feel in a, in a different energetic vibration, in a different energetic frequency. Which means whatever was connected to the frequency you're at before is not going to feel good to you anymore. It's not going to resonate. It might even drop out of your life and and what is meant to be what is in alignment with your new energetic frequency you're going up another level you guys definitely should look at the omega consciousness scale on google it omega consciousness scale so you can see the pyramid and the and uh the vibrational frequency you're raising your vibration to to 500 and above on the Omega Consciousness scale, which is divine love, sacred love, unconditional love. That's what this is. This, all four of these cards, is you aligning your will to the will of the divine. This is you being in, 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 in the vibration of all-encompassing, oh, the, the heart of source, all-encompassing love, divine love, sacred love, uh, agape love, unconditional love. That's what this is. All of this, that's what this is. Divine, sacred love. Unconditional love, peace and harmony and oneness and wholeness. This right here is grace and beauty and serenity and oneness with all. Our divinity, selfless realizations, understanding and enlightenment. That's what this is. Powerful energy for Thursday. I actually, I, I feel like I just want to leave it right here. I just want to leave it right here. Family, just continue to, don't worry about if you're feeling uncomfortable, what you're feeling, all the stuff that's coming up. Your vibration is rising here, okay? You're, this is what you're aligning with. You're aligning with um, 
your 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 wish, whatever your wish is, whatever your desire is, whatever you're speaking out to your existence, whatever you're praying for, whatever you are when it comes to love, whatever you are, the, the key here is to align, is to feel worthy, is to feel confident, is to come forward here and share your light and share your divinity, share your love with 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 others, okay, in your life. Be the change that you want to see. Let me get one for the lovers. The King of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles. Give me one more for the lovers. You're attracting in, if this is not somebody you already know, because we do have two cards of Twin Flame. And this is a spiritual connection. You're aligning here with somebody that is also spiritual. We did see the Queen of Wands earlier. Somebody that is rising from the ashes here from, you know, their final nail on the coffin, right? The beginning stages of major spiritual awakening and major change. So, you know, this is somebody here that is feeling, you know, vital life force energy, right? Kundalini awakening here, as you can see. It's like... There, this this person here is feeling very is a leader in their community is feeling very inspired to take action okay is feeling motivated inspired tell me about this king of wands with the lovers Another major arcana. This this person is very spiritual as well as you are. Okay, uh, whatever. If you if if you have been having silence, oh my nose is itchy. If you have been having silence when it comes to this lover's energy, uh, that's going to be broken soon. Okay, um, this is somebody that you have a spiritual, telepathic. 5d we did see that soulmate energy here invisible soulmate <laughs> as you can see it's like a ghostly figure you have this that you look patience that's temperance here patience here been healing from rejection codependency and abandonment right uh becoming whole within ourselves finding ourselves here you're 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 talking about somebody here that you have a, a very strong this person is always showing up in your energy field there are always in your energy field this person is being magnetically pulled and drawn towards this uh, connection they want to take action they are going to take action okay um, but right now it's like I feel like I feel like you're always in this person's energy and they're always in your energy they can't look they're sitting there and there you are showing up and right in their face they see it clearly you're always in their energy. They, they, they feel you everywhere, hoping they run into you. This person feels you everywhere, or you feel them everywhere, or both, okay? You can't even get a, go outside, and there's a bunch of sync flood. You're flooded with synchronicities with this person's uh, letting the spirit, the universe is bringing you together, is letting you know that this person is thinking of you. They're always there, okay? You constantly feel this person's energy. And here they come. Here they come. You're about getting ready to get it to come into union with somebody here that is your flame. This person's burning flame. We have water and fire. You may have water and fire in your chart. Both of you guys may have. One of you may have more fire, the other more water, or vice versa. It doesn't have to be. Um, or somewhere in, in, in one of your major placements. Okay, uh, we have Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, Taurus, and Aquarius here, and any of the fire signs. Uh, give me one more on this. It looks like this person is being intuitively guided, pulled, magnetically pulled. They feel you everywhere. They see you. They s Look at this. Wow, I can't make this up, family. This is your flame, your counterpart. They've been taking a long time to arrive, but again, they feel the fire 
the call to action in the solar plexus here, right? The gut feeling, the gut feeling, the inner knowing that's guiding them. This is the Ace of Wands, a, fire, a passionate, a fire has been ignited in this person or you, both of you guys. There's a strong, ma passion's ignited. There's a strong magnetic pull. There's a call to action. This person has been, the watcher is no longer watching. They're acting now. Um, this is delayed communication that's coming in. Yeah, definite. Communi they're taking a leap of faith. The runner, seven of swords, taking a leap of faith. There's been a, sh there's a shift here that's taking place. Definitely. Definitely. I don't even know where this was. Was this there? Sure. Okay. It's, it, that's where it was. So we have here a divine... We have twin flame, twin flame. This is a very strong spiritual connection. We're finally coming into alignment here. What was I going to use? I'm going to use this deck. I'm going to get lit one more card on this King of Wands. And then I'll pull a message from Archangel Michael. And then we will wrap. I'm going through a reconfiguration as well. I feel a shift. I feel a difference in my energy. Give me one for this king of wands. Foolish. They feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to come forward at last. They don't want you to give up now. This is this person that has been dealing with healing from regret. It's their pride. This person, has, you know, in the lower vibrational energy, this person have a lot of pride and ego. That's how they messed up the connection, perhaps. They wore a mask, or you did. Both of you guys did. Um, they don't want you to give up now when you've come this far. Because it would all be worth it in the end. Missing you. Missing you. Something is brewing here. Give me one more for this King of Wands with the lovers and the high priestess here. What is this person's... Uh, we got here emotionally unavailable, but it flew that way. Mysterious one. Give me one more. So this person has been, that's what created the, the messing up the connection here, is they weren't open, they weren't vulnerable. I feel like you left a permanent mark on this person. Yeah, that's why they can't forget you. To them, you are their ten of cups here. It's like they once upon a time, that's what pushed you away. That's what caused the ending. They were closed off to this ten of cups, to this love, but they see it now. You see it now with the four of cups. That was, this was a missed opportunity from the past. Where was the... I don't know where it was, family. We saw the four of cups. This was a uh, missed opportunity from the... That's what they missed out on the opportunity from the past. Look, they see you as marriage. They see you as marriage material, ten of cups. Someone that they... That inspires them. This person's feeling inspired to create a strong foundation for marriage. This person here was emotionally unavailable, stone cold. But now they're warming up. They're feeling the warmth. They're feeling the passion. They're feeling the chemistry. They're feeling the fire. They're feeling the, the magnetic pull with the high priestess. Give me, give me one more on this uh, King of Wands energy towards the Queen of Wands, please. The King of Wands energy. Toxicity. This person had a lot of toxic energy in their family tree, in their family. This person had a lot of toxic energy in their environment. That's what was creating the blocks, the energetic blocks that was keeping them from coming towards you here. Yeah, the unknown scared them. The unknown scared them. Give me one more to this King of Wands. The awakening, uh, the awakening process has begun. They're, they're being very guided by their intuition here to take action on this connection. I feel like it's time for them to do that with the King of Wands. They're feeling it. They're feeling it in their solar plexus. They have been stuck in a loop here. Give me one. Give me. What is the action here? What is the energy this King of Wands has? The intention. What do they feel? What do they want? Yes. I said it. Passion ignited. Passion ignited. Their intense sexual desire towards that this person's lesson here was lust. They had they had chose somebody else over you, the rival, because this person didn't know the difference between lust and love. 
They did not know the difference between lust and love, but they did l learn it from with their process of the, the, the of the ten of swords that they received. Now they see clearly four of cups. He was looking right at the cup. Now we see clearly the difference between unconditional love, true love, and lust. Lack of faith, power couple. Yeah, but this person's passions ignite. It's exactly what I said. I wanted to make sure. Um, what was I going to get? Give me here. Show me this uh, King of Wands energy. Attraction. It's because somebody here is in the law of attraction energy. They're, this person has a lot of attraction, a lot of passion, a lot of attraction here. They're in the law of attraction energy of, uh, you know, pull, getting pulled, getting pulled, magnetically pulled because somebody here is enjoying their life fully. They're in the moment. They let go. They detached. They let, they've been focusing on their own work, on their own healing work here, <laughs> becoming whole, focusing on themselves. Okay, so there's a lot of attraction. They're being pulled now back. See how that works? See how that works? Lots of passion. So now this person wants to let their heart and soul sing with joy. Okay, give me one more on this King of Wands. They're, been, you know, we're so close. This was worth waiting for. Boom shakalaka. Reconciliation. Here it is. Oh my goodness. This alarm, definitely going to have to call them because I'm not going to be able to sleep like that. Reconciliation from this king. Why? Because we're finally in this energy of deserving love, knowing what you are worthy of and what you deserve. Okay? So, this was worth waiting for, family. <laughs> Let's get you an Archangel Michael message. So, this person, I feel like both of you guys have been going on, on this. You know, I feel like this wasn't going to come into union until both of you guys' frequencies and energies was matching. Okay? Vibrationally. So let's see what Archangel Michael, Archangel Michael, what's the message for the collective here? Archangel Michael is with you now, helping you with this situation. There it is again at the bottom of the deck. Oh, wow, look. You're protected family. So if you got saved, if you had a tower moment that came in and removed folks, Thank Archangel. Stay in this energy of gratitude. Thank Archangel Michael. That was Archangel Michael's doing. Archangel Michael saved you. Archangel Michael's always saving you. That was the message that I got. The download that I got in my crown chakra meditation today. Spirit, Archangel Michael, what message do you have for the collective here for Thursday, the 9th? Don't. Yeah, family. Don't settle for less. Mm-mm. That's what's uh, helping you to get to your goals and your dreams. And you staying in alignment. That's how you stay in alignment with what you want. We saw the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in this reading. The culmination. That's what's getting you to the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Is you not accepting less than what you deserve. Look at that. You deserve love. You are lovable. Okay? Stay in this vibration of, you know, of knowing what you deserve. And we're not backing down. I'd rather be alone than to settle. You know, it's like if you, you know, let shit slide, you're settling at that point, okay? If it's not a hard yes right away, it's a no way, good day, sir, right? Uh, we have, no thank you. <laughs> we have, you are a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up. Don't give up because you're so close. Yes, it's been very long. You needed to have patience. Where was that patience card? You needed to have patience to manifest the soulmate here of yours. Okay? You needed to have patience. Remember, what was that card uh, under the deck that said, uh, do, do not give up at last. Right? Worth the wait here. Worth the wait at last. Okay? Patience. Can I have one more? Oh, embrace this magical moment. You are, you are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow for your wishes to be fulfilled. Yes, sorceress energy, sorcerer energy here. Magic energy, magic is taking place with this spiritual energy that I'm seeing on the board. What else? Give me one more. Can you Michael, please? Yes, you are. Time to play. Have fun. Look at all this yellow. This yellow 
is um, solar plexus energy. It's interesting. My daughter was yelling at wearing a yellow shirt today, and I said, that's solar plexus. You need to work on your solar plexus. Whenever we pick a color that we wear, it's an indication of what chakra we're being guided to, okay? So um, I have, a, I have a, a story time. One time uh, a couple years ago, she walked into my room and she said, guess what chakra I'm working on today? I said, root. She said, oh my God, how did you know that? And I said, because you're wearing a red shirt. So you see how that works? Um, yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. You, I think that that showed up uh, uh, yesterday's reading. I don't know. But Spirit said, have fun right now. You're working too hard and worry about everything. Seek out your inner child wants to play. Seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life. I'm going to leave it right here, family. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did say I was going to pull from um, Goddess Isis real quick. And then we'll wrap. Lots of passion, you guys. At, at least. But the thing is, it's not just passion that you have with this person. There's a lot of love, too. Unconditional love, actually. is a card of unconditional love and emotional fulfillment. It's everything. This, this, this relationship... Is spiritual, it's soul, it's mind, body, soul, mind, body, soul, and spiritual. This person um, ignites all of that within you, okay? It's a very healing connection as well with the temperance, the higher font, and the star. It really was a catalyst and uh, it helped to awaken you, okay? Both of you guys. So, yeah. This person is connecting more and more to their intuition. They're learning to trust their intuition here more and more. So God decides this one message to have for the collective, please. Portal of light. It is only this physical reality that is bound by time and space. You are a conscious being on levels beyond the physical world. You are guided to work with your healing powers. Oh! Healing powers beyond the confines of time and space. You will not become ungrounded through such spiritual work. You are not leaving your earthly connection behind. You are merely adding to it. I felt that in this this spread. This is such so much spiritual work here. So much spiritual healing. Okay, so much spiritual ascension, ascension, a reconfiguration is taking place within you so that you will be able to comfortably take off your mask, shine your light, step into the spotlight, right? Shine your love, shine your light and, and start sharing your healing energies with the community, your loved ones and those in your life. Okay, we have scales of balance, balancing, give and take, directing and flowing play. Where is that play card? Play and solitude are ways to heal the relationship between the inner masculine and feminine energies right here. The inner masculine and feminine energies within us. Connection with the body is the most powerful form of healing for the feminine energy. Dancing, yoga, exercise, as it holds the secret the secrets to divine feminine wisdom. So dance, sing, and play. So dance, sing, and play. It's time to play. This is your message, family. I love you guys. Have a great Thursday, and I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless you all, and namaste. Much love. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing for all of your donations and for purchasing decks, for scheduling personal readings with me. God bless you. Namaste. I love you all. Until next time.